Improving the interface between your mallet e-pedal and your shoe can be done by switching out the traction pads. Now the pedal comes equipped with a one millimeter shim. If that's installed and you snap into the pedal and you see that you have motion, then we can simply install the two millimeter traction pad to remove that play. In order to do that, you're gonna need some simple tools. You'll be using a six millimeter hex, an eight millimeter hex, eight millimeter socket, small slotted screwdriver, and a tire lever. In order to remove the traction pads, we're gonna rotate the wing assembly until it's facing straight up so we can use the upper bar for leverage. Taking the small slotted screwdriver, you're gonna fit it into the back of the traction pad and there's a little cavity here on the body where you can just take your screwdriver and press sharply against the traction pad until you have a little gap. Once you have a gap there, you can use your tire lever now in the wing assembly to push the traction pad off the pedal for easy removal. And that will be the same for all sides. Once all the traction pads are removed, we'll go ahead and install the thicker two millimeter version. In order to do that, just go ahead and get it inserted into the slot. You may need to use a table for leverage. To push firmly down until you can get started and then take your tire lever to complete the process until it snaps in place. Again, do the same for all four sides. Now that we've replaced all the traction pads on both pedals, now we're gonna to need to reassemble. So we're gonna put the spindle back into the pedal body. We're gonna take our eight millimeter nut and screw it back onto the spindle and use our eight millimeter hex to snug that down. We're gonna tighten that to four newton meters. Now we'll take our six millimeter hex with our end cap Reinstall that into the pedal and tighten that to eight newton meters. Once installed, go ahead and test the system. Making sure that the interface now between the pedal body and the cleat and the pedal is firm. Improving the interface on your egg beater 2, 3, and 11 pedal can be done using contact sleeves. As you can see with this example here, we have a little bit of play between the pedal body and the shoe sole. In order to improve this, we're going to install a contact sleeve onto the pedal body, but that requires us to disassemble the pedal a little bit. We're going to need a slotted 3 8 inch or 10 millimeter screwdriver, an 8 millimeter hex, 8 millimeter socket wrench, and a razor blade. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the end cap from the pedal. Once the end cap is removed, that'll expose the eight millimeter nut inside and using the eight millimeter hex to hold the spindle in place, we'll use the eight millimeter socket and we'll go ahead and remove the spindle nut until we can remove the spindle completely from the pedal body. Once those are removed, you can go ahead and take your razor blade and now we're gonna cut the colored ring right off the pedal body. Just do this carefully. Once the color ring is removed, you'll notice there's a groove on the pedal body. We recommend soaking the contact sleeve in hot water in order to soften it to ease installation. If you take a look at the contact sleeve, you'll notice that there's also a groove on the inside of the body that matches the groove on the pedal body. In order to install, you'll need a firm surface and you want to just put the groove facing towards the pedal body and just go ahead and press until it snaps into place. Now we can install the other side and again look for the groove inside the contact sleeve. Align that with the inside of the pedal body. Using a firm surface just press down and snap into place and now your contact sleeves are installed. Now we just need to reassemble our parts starting with the spindle Tighten to four newton meters. 
Now install the end cap. On the egg beater two, you will tighten to 2.5 newton meters, and on the three and 11 level, you'll tighten to three newton meters. Now that the contact sleeve is installed, take a look and make sure that the tread of the shoe is making contact with the pedal body. If you still see a gap, you may need to use the two millimeter or three millimeter contact sleeve in order to improve the interface. Mm -hmm.